Welcome to another episode of the Iron Age Show, where we talk about geek culture, news, and lifestyle. Um, bit of a different episode again. Um, as you can tell, I'm wearing the same shirt. I'm going on a rampage of doing reviews and stuff like that. I obviously just did the um, the headphone reviews that you guys might have watched um, the PlayStation 4 uh, headphone reviews, but. Today, a little bit of a different one, not really tech or anything, but something that I thought was really cool that I just wanted to talk about, um, which is a pair of boots that I had been eyeing for a while. But um, just to sort of explain why I, talk, uh, well, why I went for these particular boots, well, as you guys might know, I am a uh, motorcyclist. Uh, I've had my license for maybe just a little bit under a year now, um, and I pretty much commute with it and do a lot of riding, and I'm really loving it. However, I wanted to buy a pair of boots where I can use it for uh, well, while I'm riding my bike. Um, but at the same time, I wanted something where I can, you know, wear it casually, wear it out on weekends, that sort of thing. Something that's durable. Um, and it was a bit of a tough one because I was riding, uh, well, when I was riding, I was actually using a pair of uh, Chuck Taylor, well, the All Stars, right? Uh, the high tops, leather. And that was a bit of a silly move because that's got like hardly any protection. It's flimsy as hell. I'm not saying that these boots are like super protective or anything, but it's great. Um, so uh, what I ended up opting for is the Wolverine 1000 Mile boots. Um, I looked at a whole bunch of different ones. Um, I believe I was looking at Red Wings for a while and um, I was close to purchasing Red Wings. And then I got to a point where... You know, if you're going to be spending about the, well, in Australian dollars, um, a good four or five hundred dollars, um, I figured why not just go all out? I mean, I, I believe the Red Wings for us over in Australia is about four hundred odd dollars or four hundred and fifty odd dollars. Um, so I ended up purchasing these online um, and these retail for just, sorry, let me rephrase that. Online, you can purchase it for just under five hundred. I believe the retail here is five fifty. And the, you guys in the U.S. are probably like, oh my god, what a ripoff. Yeah, fair enough. So, let's get into it a little bit more. The reason that I opted for these particular boots is because they are... Well, it's hard to find a retailer in Australia, well, in Melbourne anyways, uh, that stock these. And I found one and I put a pair on just to see what the sizing is like. Um, and it felt super comfortable. And I believe it might be the leather that they use. Now, I didn't sort of read up too much on it but I believe they use like Horween leather of some sort which is supposed to be a super super high quality leather um, which you can tell off the get-go straight away um, it's it's great I mean it's super soft it's supple it's it's fantastic and sure you got to take care of it a little bit more you got to like polish it down a little bit more and stuff but apparently they last a long time and look one of the main reasons with these particular boots is one they're comfortable two the quality is amazing and I was very skeptical because everyone's like oh we've got best quality boots but these are really really comfy and really like you can you can just tell they're super soft I mean the minute you sort of play around with it they stay in you know this particular shape and you can tell uh, leather boots when when you wear them it takes maybe I guess it takes me it takes me about a week to for it to break in these one basically broken within within 15 20 minutes it was just super comfortable already so um great pair of boots super comfortable um and one of the main reasons i really liked these boots is probably because of the shape of it i mean if you take a look at the shape especially this end here it reminds me very much of the, uh, this is going to sound really dumb, right? It, it reminds me of the boots that you see in a lot of like animes, like uh, Cowboy Bebop um, and um, Lupin as well. Lupin the Third, he wears boots that are shaped in this particular way. It's not just a, a chunky work boot, there's a particular shape in it, and I, I love that. Um, I like the fact that with the leather as well, it does develop creases to how you wear it, which is really cool. I mean, you can tell here. And some people are complaining to sort of say, oh, you know, the, the creases don't look so great, but I, I, I feel that it gives more characteristics to the actual boot itself, so i um, huge fan of that. Um, one thing, or one of the reasons I wanted to do the review on this particular boot, though, which is pretty much something that I pretty much wear nearly every day now, um, is the fact that sizing is a pain in the ass. And the reason behind that is I, I jumped online and I was trying to look at advice for sizing for Wol the Wolverines only because it's the retailers here, it's, it's hard to come by these, right? Um, and people are sort of saying, you know, oh, compare them to these other boots and these other boots and these other boots. And I'm like, 
I don't have any of those other boots. So for someone like me who, I mean, I, I do have a couple of boots, but not like boot boots, but more so like work boots. And when I mean work boots, it's, it's ones that you wear to the office in a suit and that sort of thing. Um, it was really hard for me to find the actual sizing for it. Um, so uh, for me, that, that was a tough, 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 tough thing to look for until I tried them on. And for anyone out there who's looking for a pair of boots like these, or especially the Wolverine 1000 mile boots, if you're struggling for sizing, my only advice opposed to comparing it to other boots is compare them to Chuck Taylors, um, literally the all-stars, right? Um, for me anyways, my feet aren't, I mean, I'm generally a size nine US. Uh, when it comes to leather shoes, like work shoes, I downsized to about size eight instead. Uh, with these ones here, I yeah, I, I did end up purchasing a size eight US, which is the exact same size as the Chuck Taylors. So I guess for the everyday Joe who does not have a pair of boots and they're looking at buying a pair of boots and they're just not sure than their size and they want to purchase online as things are cheaper online, um, go for the same size that you would probably wear for the Chuck Taylors. Um, and you're quite, you'll be comfortable with it. Like they're not tight, the, leathers, the leather will stretch a little bit, but I would rather have it a little bit under, tiny bit looser side, opposed to having it really tight. And you're just sort of like trying to convince yourself that it's comfortable, it'll stretch out, and every time you wear them, they really hurt. It's just not a great sort of feel. And you, you won't end up using them anyways. Um, so yeah, I mean, great pair of boots. I'm actually really considering getting the black pair as well. Um, but that would be a little bit silly, I think, so I'll probably stick with these for a while. Um, oh, and lastly, the only other thing that I do need to mention about these is that um, the grip on it, because it's leather, a, a leather sole, a hard compound leather sole, um, it was quite slippery walking around um, as well. So I had, I mean, I, I used them for about a week and then I caved in and sort of said, you know what, I, I just want to get, you know, rubber soles on them. So you can just bring it to your cobbler, your local cobbler and just get them added in. Um, and it, it's great. I mean, so now it's really grippy and it, it's really good. Um, and look, I, I, I don't have any negatives about this particular boot at all. I mean, I, I, I absolutely love it. I wear it every day. I wear it when I'm on my motorbike. Um, and I mean, yeah, I mean, it's cork, it's got apparently the cork base, um, and it's a very traditional way of sort of stitching up, uh, the sole as well. So, um, it's easy for, uh, your cobblers, uh, to sort of replace the sole if, if, if need be, but, um, highly recommended. Um, if you're going to be purchasing, especially if you're in Australia, you're better off to purchase them online only because it's cheaper online. I mean, Look, let, let me explain the scenario for you. So online for me, I purchased it for 480, uh, no, 490 Australian dollars. I uh, went to the local store that I finally found after a month of looking and they had it for 550. So I said to them, hey, you know, I, I can purchase them online. I can get, you know, the shipping's all included and it only takes three days, which these came in in about three days from the US, crazy, right? Um, so three days and I'll get them. So I'd rather buy, you know, support local stores, um, buy it here. Um, could you do any better than 550? Um, and I'll be honest with you, I was willing to go 500, maybe a little bit more than 500 to have it then and there. Uh, but the person was just like, nope, can't do it. So I was just like, okay, well, I gave it a shot. I didn't want to be disrespectful in any ways, but I thought I'll ask the question. And they were really cool about it. So I ended up purchasing online, which just worked out to be better for me. And I'm glad that, yeah, the, 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 the sizing was just right. But anyways, that is it for the quick review, our thoughts about the Wolverine uh, 1000 mile boots. Um, yeah, I mean, I mainly wanted to do this uh, the thoughts on this particular boot only because it's, it's, I thought it was a really cool pair of boots and uh, the fact that I struggled look, um, looking for size only because it almost seemed like everyone online that were looking at purchasing these boots had another pair of boots to compare it to. And what I mean by that is they had like a pair of Red Wings or something else like that. So they're like, oh, go with this size. But for someone like me who does not have these style of boots, um, 
easiest comparison is Chuck Taylors, the All Stars, right? If you follow the leather style All Stars, you're pretty safe. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Um, oh, and one other thing, they're supposed to last a long time, apparently, um, as long as you condition it and everything. So, I have had these for about a month now, about a month now. And as you can tell, I mean, they weren't, they're not worn out in a bad way. Um, they're worn out in a really awesome way. I, I love the creases on them. Um, so I'll probably be doing another review in about a year's time just to sort of tell you guys what it, what's happening with it. And yeah, I'll put it, I'll put it in an alarm in my calendar. So anyways. Okay, anyways, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on our next episode.